We're in today with the R9 Nano. This is a 2015 video card from ASUS. It's got 4096 shaders running with 4096 megabytes of vram at 1000 megahertz on the core clock 500 megahertz on the memory clock 4096 bits bus width and today we're gonna pair it up with this i7 6950x with 10 cores and 20 threads i think this is the enterprise uh, driver that i managed to put with nimes i keep selecting every single time another one <laughs> Regardless, today we're going to jump in a couple of games and we're going to see how this video card is working. I have a menu that I want to test. Today I want to test uh, a couple of games in between this, graphics and compute. I want to see how they are performing, I keep reading online. Some games are working really nice with uh, graphics, some games are working really nice with compute. I want to test this option and see for myself how it's performing. So I think the best thing we can do is just jump in a couple of games and see how it holds. Let's go. Definitely we need to start with GTA 5 because it's got uh, a lot of uh, power to load this uh, video card i got normal details on uh, this occasion with 1440p i have no modification in the render scale it doesn't have a rtx uh, features like dlss and ray tracing but uh, i'm gonna put uh, a little load with this game i got 3.2 gig of uh, vram allocated in 2.6 in the garage i know every single time I'm, I'm entering the garage i know how it's loaded so i will uh, go around and see how it's performing into the city but i know from here i want to average and see how how much is going to hold here 92 fps because i'm going to swap it to compute and i want to see how many fps i got i got problems with the driver seriously i actually thought this uh, enterprise or whatever driver is this is going to work really nice but uh, no it's got problems i think next time i'm going to play with other drivers and i'm going to see how it's performing with uh, other games this is a video card that i want to put in the pc more often because it's a freaking nice video card seriously it's got all kinds of features i love this idea of small form factor size <laughs> and this amount of power on a small video card like this seriously very compact size this r9 nano i mean in the it's in the name nano <laughs> nano video card seriously well i did answer my question here look at this so now i got 100 percent load on the core 4 gig of vram allocated in 3.9 processed dude it's utilizing this video card at maximum but oh my god look at this 38 fps before on graphics mode i had 92 fps now i got 38 fps all right so um, compute is not good with this <laughs> just to make sure that i have no problems i swapped the drivers because i thought that enterprise model uh, is gonna ruin the performance so i put normal generic uh, radeon drivers the 23 i think is the version and i wanted to come back and say on graphics i want to see if it's doing the same thing so yeah i got 91 92 fps so this is the re real fps doesn't have any problems maybe compatibility with some games i don't know i want to see how it's performing but uh, definitely in the right direction seriously 80 90 fps yeah almost the same so not a big difference 3.2 gig of vram allocated all right so let's jump in another game and see how it's running in fortnite with uh, 1440p with performance mode directx 11 with maximum details i got 177 fps on average here 180 170 i think is gonna be the average here even with the drivers i keep fiddling with the drivers some games are starting some t some of them do are not working you know that nimes drivers managed to put uh, a dent in my benchmark seriously i don't even know which one is good i have to test more drivers in order to see how this video card is performing all right so 180 190 i think this is gonna be a very interesting test all right to be fair this is a very good video card and in this game doesn't have any problems but today i want to see the difference between this uh, type of settings i want to see graphics and computer and how it's holding apparently in gta 5 did a horrible job that but but uh, maybe in this game is gonna work uh, totally different. Let's try uh, compute. So in Fortnite, in the air now, I got 240 FPS. Wait, are you telling me Fortnite with compute is working? No, it's still 190. Hmm. 200. Same settings, same everything. The only different 20 FPS. Are you sure? Hmm. I had 170, 180 FPS on average. There is there is a little more. Let's let's go to the ground and see how it's running there. I think it's gonna run really nice in this case. And uh, the only thing I can do is just uh, analyze it because this this is the first game that is working really nice with this compute mode. Usually performance mode doesn't utilize too much VRAM, but here with compute I got like 2.5 gig of VRAM allocation and 
1.6. Very interesting performance from this. Definitely a good topic. Definitely I want to test more in this case, seriously. This is going to be very interesting to see how it's performing with uh, this video card. I entered PUBG because I wanted to see the video card's uh, performance here with uh, maximum details and uh, maximum quality. Not very good performance with maximum load, 3.7 gig of VRAM uh, allocated and 3.4 process. It's struggling to keep the performance but 40-40p with maximum details and uh, Daniel this is not what you have to do here. Seriously you have to do it exactly like in Fortnite. You have to put 40-40p with low details. I'm gonna test it there but I want to see an average here and how it's performing. So 40 FPS is good with 3.7 gig of VRAM uh, allocated. I want to see now how it's performing with low quality because if it's working really good with low quality maybe it's gonna put more performance there. The only thing I managed to see is that in compute it's good if you have VRAM available. If I have VRAM available, it's gonna give me more FPS. If not, it's gonna cripple the whole thing. So in graphics, apparently it's reaching maximum and that's it, this is the best it can do. But let's see what we can do with this. I'm, I'm, I don't know, seriously, I've, I'm actually confused, but I have to do more tests in order to understand in how it's performing. And uh, with the drivers, I have to test more drivers because now I managed to revert and went back with uh, the original driver that is on the website, seriously. What the heck is going on? Some games didn't start with uh, Nimes drivers and I was like man maybe I have to put the original package but uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter this is a good test and uh, you can actually see it's uh, kind of holding pretty well and I love it just for the fun I'm gonna put on very low so with full screen I got 100 uh, FPS yes let's do one more time a reset and see on very low how it's performing then we're gonna go on uh, compute mode and see how it's performing then 100 fps here i think this is a very good performance from this on very low with 1440p outside with this view i got 90 fps yeah let's swap it to compute i want to see how it's performing now let's see what we got here 60 fps 61 is there a v-sync maybe swapping to compute managed to derail my settings i'm gonna go there in uh, in the normal zone and i'm gonna see how it's performing 1440p and very low with DirectX 12 and I got less performance you didn't compute with uh, PUBG is not okay holy sh** it is so bad <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay PUBG don't know how to utilize Fortnite did a very nice job there I don't know what was wrong there but look at this I got now 4 gig of VRAM utilization with uh, graphics I had 2 gig of VRAM utilized I have a great feeling about Grand Theft Starter <laughs> seriously I don't know I think in compute is gonna work better because it's only utilizing 1.2 gig of VRAM <laughs> I mean it's allocating 1.2 gig of VRAM and I think if I put it on compute it's gonna max out the VRAM I don't know I, it feels it feels like this is the game you know PUBG managed to disappoint me uh, GTA uh, managed to disappoint me you know GTA 5 but uh, I think GTA 4 no Grand Theft Starter is gonna appreciate my compute seriously so I got uh, maximum load here with 60 70 FPS on 1440p with maximum details this is a great quality you know you can't say nothing bad about it because it does the job and it looks great it's running great there's nothing wrong with this seriously 70 FPS on average is good so I think the best thing I can do for this is just uh, go on compute and see if I can load it up <laughs> or I don't know what's gonna happen seriously I'm not gonna take a car because it's stuttering every time with the car but but uh, yeah, I like it. I like this idea this uh, benchmark is offering me because it, it shows me some very important uh, um, results, you know? I swear I thought it was a glitch. I'm disappointed. <laughs> But I got more VRAM utilization. Look at that. 3 gig of VRAM allocated. 2.2 gig of uh, VRAM processed. Who is utilizing my VRAM now? I should have stayed on graphics. I don't know what the point of actually doing this, but uh, I have less FPS, more hardware utilized. Look at that. 4 gig of VRAM allocated. Damn, Daniel. What the heck is going on? Seriously. So 50 FPS now. I lost 20, 30 FPS. Not okay. Seriously. Not an okay performance. All right. So maximum VRAM utilization maximum code utilization 62 degrees so it's beasting up my video card like this all games maybe that's the solution we're gonna average here the fps look at this i'm gonna stay here a little and see how it's performing we're gonna save it here quick save 118 18 19 fps 
you want to come here in the same spot and see how it's performing. So I got only 1.8 gig of VRAM allocated and 1.2 processed. I, I, I was bamboozled by GTA, uh, sorry, Grand Theft Auto, you know. I thought it because it's got so low uh, VRAM amounts uh, allocated, that was, it's going to perform really well. But maxed out the VRAM, I don't know what happens. <laughs> Regardless, so 120 FPS, 30 FPS on 1%, and I think it's going to work really nice. 71% fan power man th this video card is banana seriously this hbm memory this high bandwidth memory it's fantastic seriously i think that if you put the right drivers because i have to fiddle with more drivers because i started with nimes gcn the latest one i went uh, i went with uh, nimes enterprise gcn3 then i went uh, nimes standard gcn3 and now i'm with it's standard AMD from the website drivers. Let's go to compute because apparently it managed to average on 121. Almost there. I'm gonna stay in the same spot. Five, I got five FPS more. You know, if you wanna play Pripyat with an R9 Nano, you can swap it to compute and you're gonna get six more FPS on maximum details with 1440p. Everything enhanced light, everything is turned on. 125, look at that. And it still stays there. Three gig of VRAM allocated what a nice game seriously i had less minimal no one percent is 78 one percent is 78 this is good because that one had what 30 or something nice seriously so i got better averages so all games is is doing wonders here i definitely need to find another old game so 2.9 gig of vram allocated and the 75 percent fan power awesome seriously awesome performance i don't think this is the right game for this type of uh, benchmark but uh, i'm looking you know 3.1 gig of vram allocated and 2.7 process barely got the playable fps here with 1440p and ultra details i think i have to put it on 1080p with low details in order to do this test but i don't think i'm gonna achieve this uh, type of um, uh, result here with this game I, I really need to put older games like stalker in order to get some uh, differences here okay so 2040 fps now nah, okay i think that if i put compute it's gonna max out the vram and i'm gonna get 10 fps 10 fps if if I get now 10, 20 FPS, it's gonna half it. <laughs> <laughs> all right so not ideal not a very good performance here i like the quality though you know i would really like to play this game properly not with this uh, type of stutter and load 11 gig of uh, system ram utilized 18 gig of uh, virtual memory maximum load on the core 900 megahertz on the core it, it should be running with 1000 megahertz you know with 1000 megahertz will be much better temperature is good performance is good i think power limit i put it a little more nothing i got 40 fps this is good it's from 20 it's good it's like 5 10 fps in general increase 26 24 22 this is the most intense area i don't know why i got 3 4 fps 5 24 <laughs> <laughs> this is not how it needs to be seriously all right let's go on compute what i think is that this video card it's not good for compute i think there is a small chance if i have video card with high amount of vram so that means should bring the 6950 x and put it on compute seriously that will be a very interesting thing to see with that video card i want to do the second time the second test is going to be with that uh, rx 6950 x xt in order to see if compute is helping that video card seriously i'm not joking i want to see if maybe that one is helping here it doesn't do nothing look at that now i got maximum vram utilization 3.2 process what the f is going on seriously 900 megahertz on the core 62 63 degrees on this occasion 71 percent fan power man this video card is underclocking and uh, i yeah i can't do nothing it's got uh, overclocking issues limited overclocking options this video card so it, not okay well considering the how small it is and you overclock it it will just explode i think <laughs> but uh, it's good like this no overclocking is better because it will uh, hold forever and uh, it's not a bad thing seriously does it run crisis on uh, 1440p without any analyzing because uh, if the resolution is too much for this i think uh, if i put analyzing it's gonna be even less fps but in this situation i got let's see 78 fps let's do a save here i got two point seven gig on the vram side so 330 watts consumption very interesting so 78 
879 fps on average with how much minimal i got because i was moving around i want to sit here a couple of seconds and see if it's averaging around 70 fps i'm gonna keep it like this because i want to see the exact number quick save managed to drop to 3 fps what the is going on Lee? look 3 fps like, I made an error because I entered the game without switching to, to graphics and uh, previously it was with compute. The only difference is I got less VRAM utilization now. So now I'm on graphics as a preset and it's having the same performance. So there is not a lot of difference. I think that if you want uh, to use uh, less VRAM, you're going to stay with graphics. That's the only thing that I managed to understand here. The graphics apparently it's utilizing less memory that's it seriously i used to uh don't, what video card rx 590 that's the only video card that i managed to buy brand new and i was testing with that amd video card the mining and i remember this is the only time that that was the only time where i was swapping from graphics to compute and i was getting more performance on mining on the hash rate i wanted to see this how it's performing how it's performing in gaming i wanted to see some real results if you're interested on seeing another video card like a 6950 xt in this machine because this one doesn't have resizable bar and uh, i need to finish with this my with my main computer so i can swap um, the i9 cpu in order to get uh, the whole computer computer running with uh, resizable bar. I cannot finish that computer because I need a proper power supply and I'm in the process of getting a proper power supply in order to have a beefy computer there. Very small case but uh, yeah it's gonna be great. Uh, compute versus graphics very interesting seriously very interesting thing and i need more amd video cards in order to see how they are performing that's the only thing i can say it will be very interesting to see the old operating system or maybe windows 7 that's that's an interesting thing you know why not test it with a dual bga video card <laughs> This is the first time I was thinking about this and I want to see more tests like this. Older games, newer games and stuff like this. The more I throw on this uh, idea, the more I'm going to understand it. That's the only way I can uh, succeed on uh, making a conclusion about this. Any suggestion or welcome in this department because, uh, you know, I got a couple of video cards and I want to test more uh, video cards with this idea. If you're interested, of course. If you have any suggestion for this video card or for this idea with this computer or other computers leave a comment smash that like button you know if you're already subscribed to the channel if not come on just do me a favor and support the channel by clicking that subscribe button and uh, yeah i will see you very soon